Hawaii Health Connector has seen its share of criticism, but now it's being called out by the state, the CEO of the state's largest health insurance company, who says it just doesn't work. That comment today left state lawmakers outraged. KITV4's Brenton Awa reports. Lawmakers who say they've been working all session long to find ways of making the Hawaii Health Connector better have been blindsided by the comments made by HMSA's CEO, Michael Gold, one of which saying, Spending millions of dollars for the Hawaii Health Connector to act as a middleman for the business market doesn't make financial sense. Gold wants that middleman cut out. He wants the governor to seek a waiver from the federal government this year to do that, saying, if we wait until 2017 when the Affordable Care Act says states can apply for waivers, millions more will have been spent unnecessarily. However, lawmakers say they've already tried for a waiver and have been shut down. They say they've heard from all the stakeholders in this case and even passed two bills to help reform the system. Lawmakers say not once have they heard from Gold before. When someone of Mr. Gold's stature comes out and makes those kinds of statements and misstatements about what the process can and is, that's very disturbing. It would have been nice before the close of the legislative session to get these questions, not when the legislative session is closed. Lawmakers say they have to wait until 2017 to apply for a waiver. Governor Abercrombie says he supports a waiver for Hawaii, especially given our state's already relatively low rate of uninsured. The Hawaii Health Connector responded, saying it encourages the entire community to continue to have the conversation now that the legislature has acted to support the connector through 2015. So far, the Hawaii Health Connector has signed up just over 9,000 people. Open enrollment starts up again in November. Brenton Awa, KITV4 News.